Hey everyone, Cypher here, and yes, this is Dante's Infernal Walkthrough. And as you see in the very first slide, it started everything about, you know, this is war and it's a warning for this is a mature game. Let me explain it probably in a little bit more detail. So if you are of the age of under 18 years old, please, please just hit the back button, leave. All right, because everything you're about to see in here is really is mature content. Because there's a lot of violence. A lot of sexual like content in it. So if you're not of age 18 or older, please leave. Unless you are mature enough, you understand the stuff, then a-okay. Plain and simple. But if not, please leave. You know, just so you don't have your eyes burned out and have your soul damned for all of eternity because you're watching something that you're not supposed to. I don't want that to happen to you. I'm not being like a garden angel, but I will be if I need to be. But anyways, yeah, Dante's Inferno. Why am I doing this? It's such an old game. It came out about like two years ago, just before um, God of War 3 came out. Well, the reason is, is because this is such a classic view game. It really is. It does deserve, well, literally a walkthrough. And that's what I'm doing to, to, for you people. I'm giving you a walkthrough. Now, once we hit into the main parts of the main vi the, of the video series what this is going to be, you're going to see me playing around with my experience, ready, all the stuff, earned character mode. So pretty much straightforward. But from now on at the start, you're going to see how to start the game off. Which, right away, I would just give say, if you want one of the simplest trophies right away, kill the guard enemies that you're going to get. And I'll explain about when we get to it. So let's let the, get the video started. All right, and the start of this is pretty much is what EA decided to do was pretty much took the greatest poem slash book of all time from the Italian Renaissance, the Inferno from Dante Alighieri, and actually bring it to life. And what they decided to do was pretty much was to um pretty much in a nutshell make Dante Alighieri the author, well, the main hero be Dante. And no, it's not the same Dante from Dante, uh, Devil May Cry, different one. Of course, everyone knows Dante is usually associated with some of the devil or no, some from point, the damnation. The of life. I found myself and this is probably one of the most famous quotes of all time is, On the midpoint of life, I found myself in the dark woods. And that was supposed to be symbolizing what Dante was experiencing during his, uh, kind of like you say, his midlife crisis. And it was a very, very, um, difficult one of course we're seeing here is pretty much Dante pretty much well you can, I could say he's doing almost not identical to what the scarlet letter was and since ever he's branding himself with a red cloth cross on his chest with other runes scared around his arms from some reason. and this is pretty cool they did with this kind of like, little cutscenes actually like animations everything's great but yeah it's representation of course the crusades we're seeing here against the um, Muslim faith and Christians of Europe. So yeah, and of course you see it's still going on to this day. That did not sound like someone from a Middle Eastern descent. In my opinion, but, uh, well, what are you going to do? Well, at the start of this, of course, you're at the Citadel of Acreage, which is a one of the major locations well, it actually was a real location. And pretty much, Dante's job at being a crusader is, well, pretty much, well, can control the uh, prisoners. And the only way he can do that, well, is, of course, butchering them. Up. Now, the easy trophy that's in here is pretty much is hack and slash, pretty much straightforward, be up all the guard, beat them all. That's what you can do. And if you get a certain mind, you're actually going to get a trophy off it. There's actually three trophies for hit mount counters. This one's the lowest. You can get it straight off here at the back. But if you want to get something that's a little bit um, harder, of course, you get it later on in the game. All the special add-ons you can get by pulling onto it. And I know it's kind of strange you're hearing female by screen. I don't know if they're being killed off in the background. What? Or we actually got female soldiers here. I doubt, especially in the Crusades, but hey, you never know. You really never know. Alright. Well, 
Yeah, I mean, it's stupid fireballs. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, but pretty much the same. The are very simple. So if you've played God of War before and you're looking for something a little different, but kind of feels the same, here you go. Especially if you're looking for the God of War HD collection for the PSPs when they come across over from PSP to PS3 later this year. Then. This is good. It's good. You know, wait, no. Get some practice in. Especially, this is a good story. Especially if you can complete this game. Read, check out the book. Or even if you want to check out the full play this game, go ahead. It's actually really, really darn good. Yeah, you can't jump on the ship yet until the flares go out, of course. Make sure all the guards or prisoners are dead. Right? Yeah, he's got double jump. It's kind of weird. You get, he's like Superman, apparently. Interesting. Alright. In his big courtyard, you can see if there's any more trouble. And oh, oh crap, assassin steps right in the back. He stabbed you right in the back. And go figure, here comes good old death with the scythe. Dante, your fate is decided. Everlasting <laughs> damnation for your sins. Everlasting damnation for my but sins? Possible. The bishop assured us. Uh huh. Right. Yeah, and of course the skeleton like body, so at least now they kept it today. Of course, this part right here, of course, is based off what the developers wanted to do to the series. That was all they wanted to do. It's not exactly to with the ball, but who cares? First, like, he takes the blade off, and then he says, like, you know what? Forget you, death. Yeah, I may be on the verge of death, but I'm gonna come back to life if I beat, if I beat your sorry, bony butt. Yeah, look, you think it's some kind of dimensional world. It's weird now. It looks like there's fire, there's blood, and spewing across the face. So it must be the first realm of death itself. <sighs> of course, uh... If you had played the God of War Ghost of Sparta, it kind of looks like uh, Thanatos, the God of Death. It does look a little bit, but... Damn, uh, that's my observation. I say, ah, no, that's actually what Death really looks like. Alright. Hey, okay, you're the one who's just... <laughs> It's so weird in this world. Yeah. Now, the vein course is the right way to watch that move is with the... No one can cheat death. Oh yeah, that's cross cooks in there. No one can cheat death. Oh, yeah. uh, some people can't death. Man, oh, he hits us. He hits us. He hits us. And use the source to kill him. I don't care. All you do is go and face death is pretty much beat the crap out of him. Plain and simple. Be in submission. Yeah, yeah, if you have to jump up. No, of course you do the R2 there. It's, it's content sensitive. Yeah, take his blade and ram him. Stab, 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 stab. Oh. Oh yeah, he owns that scythe. Nice. Let me help you. Wait, let me help you. Hmm. Interesting, right? It's like. Uh, uh, no, thank you, Death. No! No! Please! He gets so fucked with this fucking It's crazy. Help me. Nah, I'm gonna split your head open. I mean, the body is really sincere, so you can make it on the There we go. Of course, you gain enough souls in order to upgrade, and of course. Upgrading, of course, is your weapon skills. On the right side it says unholy, left well, left side unholy, right is holy. And you don't have holy yet, but unholy is pretty much anything that involves the scythe. Pretty much. Your holy is going to be one of your special techniques, especially when it comes to um, ranged attacks down the road. Alright. Yeah. And of course, now we're in Florence, Italy, of course. Florence, Italy is being the home. Oh, uh, Dante, literally. That's where he was. That's where he was from. Holy He's a Florentinian. And <laughs> when he came out with this book, After when he published it, honestly, <laughs> I think he told a lot of people, F you. As he pretty much made every person from the peasant that could read all the way to probably popes to believe in life after death. And that's what the book is about, life after death. Especially for those who um, commit horrible sins upon life. Alright, now of course we're at the Alighieri Manor. And there's a dead crow, that ain't a good sign. Now, crow's dead, ain't good, because the crows are usually signed to death. Ooh, there's a dead body in there, looks like. Especially the place to ransacked. Battle. Oh, uh, cross at the eye, killing you. 
And that's actually Dante's father. So, uh, and he got especially gold cross. So obviously, he had money. Of course, oh. Sounds on. Where's Beatrice, my love? Oh, so I think it slips down. That ain't a good sign. And here she is. Sword and peeled in her gut. And of course, yes, you can see this is why reason why I said the born at the beginning. Alright, because. I don't know really how to create black signs, stuff, scream stuff. Oh well. And it's kind of funny, her soul being released right here stayed on her, you know, stayed with her, her body until Dante arrived back. It's pretty impressive. I and you look on the top of her, on her forehead is actually a cross, so obviously she was uh, someone of divine blood. And look at the smoke around here, it looks like snakes. And there's a reason for that, and of course it's the big man from the underworld himself. Is that death himself? He's back? I have to go with him, my love. No. Oh, that actually looks like we're, <laughs> uh, we're sputin for a second, but we're sputin ain't that born yet. Yeah, but else that says the big honcho from the world below is well that's the devil himself, Lucifer. Oh, that's cute. Wait, they left the body here. They disappeared. Yeah, pretty much here. Once again, you're killing those little goons. And these goons are everywhere that you're playing. It's always literally these goons are here. Of course, they're all makes some more conversions throughout the game. Pretty much on every green slash level. Center slash slash slash. Maybe hit R2. It performs a grapple move, and well, you throw your enemies. Flyers are usually symbolization of barriers that you can get completely for. Alright, wait for the music to change and move forward. Ah, oh, man. Forward, forward, move, forward. Alright. And we're at this click cathedral where, of course, the Beatrice statues are your safe points, and of course, this change costume is the one you pass, you can change your costume. Green, you put fuels to your health. Classic green for help. Just right now, just go and see if there's anything to destroy so I can get more of these soul orbs, which are enough to help upgrade your powers. Including those that we call relics, which are pretty much power ups, special abilities. Uh, hey, that's at least just being uh, having fun on an altar. That's like sacrilegious. Good time. Why don't I? Why did you break your promise? Yeah. I don't Three, understand. Uh, what, what promise? Is it a vow or something? Mm, maybe, I don't know. It's my time we're going, I don't know. Me back. The beast, of course, represented the devil. Help me before my pulse and veins tremble. Pretty much is saying, like, God, please help me, please save me from this curse. Of course. No. By all that is holy. Of course, here's the vow. I vow to forsake all pleasures of the, the flesh the until I return from this noble crusade. <laughs> I gave myself to you because I know yeah, these echo you effects are so awesome. Our love. Yeah, they love each other. And then Bishop of Florentina. Or Florence, really. They have long nails and everything. That looks like a devil. Absolves you of all Absolves your sins. sins. Hmm. Technically, that ain't possible because the only people that can do that are those, you know, the only people you absolve is if you have committed a crime. That's it. And of course, like, the church is falling apart to hell itself. Of course, here's your range stacks, and now it's your cross, which of course is a circle. You must save me. Well, I'm working on beer guys. Come on, give me a look. Alright, I just got back to Florence just like, like five, a few minutes ago, and you were able to catch my Lucifer, the devil himself, taking down prey to hell. And I gotta beat up all these goonies and just much. Yeah, that was a bad guy. I'm so used to rolling and using a special skill there, but... <laughs> yeah, the cross can see. cross can be used against... Well, even when you know, those who are land. The cross is really, really useful to deal with. Um, aerial attacks and also groups once you upgrade. Of course, yeah, you saw a while ago I grabbed that little bad-like creature out of the air. So yes, you can do aerial grabs too, so just... Once again, we're gonna heal up. 
you know, you know maybe at the lowest level, which is simple, like easy all the way to the most brutalist. So I think it's called Inferno. Oh, there you can see the top. There's probably the catacombs. This one here, I need to do that for that one. Of course, I'm pretty much just standard attack and slash like broad out of the Any means necessary. Play it. That's pretty done good right there. Moving forward. Of course, this is. Yeah, yeah, don't give up. I don't know. Of course, that's a, a orb fountain right there. And. Oh, and a fallen flaming cross. And if you're a cursed and. <laughs> no offense in on this, but it's like, it's kind of weird. Yeah, weird. Alright. Epic in this game, and you can go to EA's website for music and actually listen to the soundtrack for it. Now, you see, I'm using cross music, and so it looks like fire or demon, they spawns demons. Well, yeah, because the flame is unholy. If you use a holy power, it just turns them into well, what they are. Bing, we're done. I'm just using this because I'm keeping myself away from those fun things. It's a nice new buff for that. I was using it right before the itself. I think I can change the power to do it. And of course, now we've got Burma Jones in the front door. Oh, well, right? Alright, heal up. Alright, we're gonna jump down and okay, uh, that's the that's the famous Gates of Hell. And actually that's a real like woke thing. Uh, I know it's a sculpture somewhere, I can't remember the exact location, you can look it up and it's actually it's, this is actually they modeled it right up, like detail for detail and it's supposed to depict Inferno. Alright, and here's our great guide to the Have underworld. Pity on me, whatever you are. <laughs> pity on a lady me. called. I prayed for her to command me. Beatrice. Yes, in the I book, Beatrice asks astray, this spirit, Virgil, the great poet of Italy, during his version in the Roman Im era, to please watch you over Dante. I beg you, give me strength. I will deliver her from this fate, whatever the cost. Of course, you know, it's funny he doesn't say anything. He's like, yes, we will say Beatrice. Of course, you get your first magic, which is redeem... Rede Righteous Path, which is pretty much is use the cross as kind of like a charging move and ice trails behind you. It's actually holy crystal. And that's really useful when taking out like swarms of zombies. I really have used that a lot on guys like I'm gonna take out a group of them. Oh yeah. Hit this. And I go, oh, what's going on? Oh bro, what is that? Now I get a Demon Beast written by a uh, <laughs> Demon Rider. <laughs> Apparently. Alright. And pretty much is you want to just. You gotta beat this thing down, because obviously it take a while to beat this thing down. Well, you just enough in order to do the special content sensitive thing for battle against them, and it's a three prong move. And it's just kind of amazing how that demon did not do anything to stop you. do. And yet, you're able to get into and well, from a driven path. Now, you get to be the rider of this thing. This thing is so awesome. You have standard light attack, which is the thing throwing his hands around. Stop move, which is triangle. And he's got a fire breathe move, which is. Oh, circle button. That's actually pretty cool. But before the easiest one, of course, is the. This and the stomps, they're the easiest. There's, there's the five minutes, it's only so wide, and that's it. I know, it's like, oh, there's your sauce, so you should have done this one. But, hey, I gotta show it off to you guys what it looks like. Mm -hmm. so, okay, now we know what it looks like. And pretty much just, you know, you see, there is effective. And pretty much the key for that. You're gonna do this quite a few times throughout the game. So, that's a good experience, you feel for you. And of course, with the fire, you can sort of and get stuff for it. It is possible to do it. Of course, the door says, open me up now. 
Alright, we're gonna open the gates of hell and go to hell itself. We're gonna go in. We got to say, get it. See, Beatrice, it's good for ourselves. Alright. And Dante jumps into the descent into the inferno itself. Where all these shades of lonely souls in the fall as well. Oh, such a lovely soul. to hell for their torment for the crimes they committed in life. And done. Epic crash. That's how you make an entrance into hell. Plain and simple. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. And that pretty much is you now the start you now of pretty much when you're on, still in the world of the living. The realm of the dead. Or the realm of the living, really, I should say. Now we're in the realm of the dead. So the next video will be on the first and the start of going into hell itself and the clue the first ring itself. Till next time, see ya.